I just want to go through the workflow when it comes on Terraform. So the first step is obviously to ensure that you build your configuration file. So in this configuration file, you will actually mention the resources that need to be deployed. The next step is to also have the Terraform execute in place. So in the next chapter, we'll actually see how to install Terraform. It's very simple. And once you have your configuration file in place, once you have the Terraform executable also in place, the next step is to perform the Terraform init command. So this is used to initialize the working directory that actually contains the Terraform configuration files. The next step is to use the Terraform plan command. Your Terraform will actually create something known as an execution plan. Here you can see what are the changes that Terraform is actually going to make onto your infrastructure based on the configuration file. Once a plan is in place, then you can use the Terraform apply command to execute the actions that are in the Terraform plan. And if you want to go ahead and delete the resources that have been created by the Terraform configuration file, then you can use the Terraform destroy command. This can be used to destroy your infrastructure objects based on the Terraform configuration. So this is the workflow that you will typically follow when you want to deploy a Terraform configuration file.